I knew you'd come. Uh, one more time, though. Are you sure? It's illegal to enter Zone 09 without the Union's permission. Even for Neuron. If you get caught, they'll charge you with insubordination for sure. Would you really risk all that for me? Thanks. I mean it. Okay, first things first, we'll have to do something about that outfit. Uppers aren't exactly huge fans of the government, or the police. You can't walk around Zone 09 dressed like that. Luckily, I planned ahead. Try this on. Bingo! Perfect fit. I'm starting to forget you're a cop already. That door back there is the only way into the exclusion zone. As you can see, we'll have to sneak past a few guards to get to it. And the door itself won't open without a security key card. The guard captain should have one on him that we can use. Of course, we can't just ask him to lend it to us. We'll have to take it from him somehow. Uh, tying him up with your legion's our best option. That'll knock him out long enough for us to get through. Okay, nothing to it but to do it. Last time, I managed to get an S-rank. Let's hope we can do it again. Ah! Go on, Blade Wolf, let's go. I've had lots of practice doing this of late. Speaking of which, I... What was it? I played the base the base game of Revengeance back up to where I was. So I ended up getting up to Monsoon and beating him, finally. And then I ended up just playing the Blade Wolf DLC and beat that my first try. That was a lot of fun, actually. I, I really liked how Blade Wolf played and the emphasis on self. Wait, what? Who can see me? Oh, Christ. So yeah, I managed to get S plus last time I did this. Hope that didn't screw anything up. There's that whole side area, both of those, that I totally forgot about until last session. Alright, so this guy is the one we're gonna go for. So I've tried to brute force an S rank here on Platinum Ultimate, thinking if you go fast enough it'll work, and it did actually work on standard. I totally succeeded doing in doing so by just going as fast as I bloody could. Sorry, we're gonna be super boring away from the turn round. Yeah, there's no other way we can get there right now. We'll position Arrow Legion in one second. And I think they're gonna start turning around now. There we go. Perfect. I don't wanna fuck this up. Whoa, okay. That was super bloody weird. Now, last time, one of these guys did actually notice the other get bound up, so I don't think it matters too much as long as we don't go to alert phase. There we go. This is the spot to get him. This guy will probably notice in a second. I, I also managed to um, S rank for the next spot, too. Perfecto. What I do wonder is, if we call Burst underneath that guy, will that piss him off? That's something I'll have to test in the future, but I'm not doing now. The main reason I even knocked all these guys out was because there is a certain something up here I'd like to grab. What's up there? I think we'll knock out, we'll knock off, yeah we'll knock off. We'll knock out this last guy, um, and then we'll go grab it. Because that way we have no chance of messing this up. Just dart across here. Jump here. There's that side area we're going to go to in a sec. I don't think I'd ever actually gone there until the last recording session. Well, the first try of this. Super bloody strange, but I completely missed it every time. Maybe when I read a guide or something, I might have 
might have checked it out, but I don't seem to recall. Now, if you look closely enough, we can probably see Blight Town. <laughs> nah, nah. A bit of a tangent, but um, boy, that Smash Bros. fake out. That mightn't have been intentional. I was, I was thinking I was immune and I was just going to be happy with whoever got in. But for that bleep, that bleep, that, that, that very brief moment, I honestly thought we were getting a Souls character. Great, you got the card key. Now, let's get through that door before anyone notices it's missing. One sec. We got, we got some stuff to grab. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy it's Sora for people that really care about Kingdom Hearts and all that. You guys deserved it. And I honestly thought, ah, I'm immune to it. I'm happy with whoever gets in now. I'm content with the characters and all that. It'd be nice if, it'd be, it'd be nice if Astral Chain got in in some regard. It'd be nice if we had, say, Nero or Virgil, or, you know, Doom Guy got it on me. On me costumes, that's pretty all right. And there were a couple of, a couple of others I could, yeah, would have liked, but Sora's fine, and he was the most demanded character back in that poll, way back when I was still in university, actually. So that was a while. That was a while ago. So you know, he, he deserved it. But yeah, it turns out I'm not immune to that feeling, because all of a sudden, I was just like, oh no, what could have been. I thought Mario was going to be the third of Pygmy and Link the First Flame for a second. Got me really excited. Uh, so this is the ladder I should have just bloody taken. But I've decided to be all fancy and do it this way. Yeah, you can't grab this, can you? I gotta do it. Yay! At least there's no health penalty to these sections as far as I bloody know. Oh great, we're here for some reason. That's cool. One of that. Awesome. That's the ladder. I did it the hard way. That's really bloody annoying. But yeah, um, back on track, I guess. Blade Wolf was actually a lot of fun. Um, I managed to perfect stealth just about every section, bar the one where that mastiff walks out the, the second you get off your leash, so to speak. I think it's feasible to do it. You're always going to start on caution, but it might be possible to just get the mastiff. But yeah, no, I've still got to try Sam's, because I know that's actually harder than the base game. But that should still be a lot of fun. Plus, you know, Death Dream Sam's really fucking cool. And in retrospect, someone we're going to meet kind of reminds me of him in a weird way. Kind of... Eh, nah, Sam's more of a dick, I guess. It's funny, I keep forgetting Sam is, you know... Well, he's on the bad guy team for... for basically the entire game bar the DLC, but still. Kind of forget how cool he is with, you know, starting an international incident and a war. Kind of makes me realize, you know, Sam wasn't the hero everyone likes to remember him as. Alright, so we're going to loop back around in the zap section. Yeah, so in, uh, in conclusion, Metal Gear Rising was a good game and I got good eventually. I do have stuff to talk about Armstrong later on, though. Because there's a, a particular enemy that I've realized in retrospect is actually pretty similar. Because um, before the, before attempt one of this chapter, I ended up playing through it on my main account, my main file. Just to see what I was um, going to get into and how long it was going to take to do stuff. And a certain boss towards the end actually has some of Armstrong's moveset. He has the charge and the body explosion, which is kind of neat. Right, still one more stealth section. And you guys are going to work out very quickly why I'm probably never going to do a playthrough of a stealth game on this channel. Because I take things way too slow and cautiously. And this next section has to be played that way. So if you are fast enough, you can get an S+, plus, but I don't think it's feasible on Ultimate. It's feasible on the normal difficulty. Yeah. 
so I think it might just be the usual we'll get over 10,000. Which seems to be the case for most, uh, most missions in this There's game. security detail on this side too. You know the drill. Try not to get caught. It's not too often kind of an awkward place, doesn't it? We want to get him as quickly as possible. So there is one guy down there. I'm not going to bother climbing down because it's kind of a dead end bar a chest we are going to have to grab. But there is a barricade just near that guy. Oh, we have to go down anyway. We'll use the staircase, so... Um... Wait, Iris, what? Shut down. Isn't this... What am I forgetting? Where is it? There we go. That's the staircase. This is easier, I guess. Even though it would have been faster. So there's that barricade Iris, right there, yeah? If you have, um... Auto bind, you can clip right through it and get him. Okay, there is no chest down here. I am misremembering. That's really bloody annoying. Um, obviously, we don't have auto bind, so that is not not something we can do right now. Should have I got it first in retrospect? Maybe. But we're too too far gone for that. That's the chest I was thinking of, of course. One thing I forgot last time around was you can eavesdrop on these two guys. So, let's have a listen in, shall we? No? Guess not. So, sometimes you can get both. I managed to last time. I moved them... I managed to get them to come along most of the way up this corridor. Um, to bind them both. But no, you can just do it there. I was being really dumb Iris, last time and playing a little too cautiously. Iris, shut down. But yeah, trust me, as much as I love Deus Ex Human Revolution... Comes earpiece, that's right, this is where you get it. And I'd bloody love to do a playthrough of that game. Uh, one, it's long, and two, I would play it really, really lame. Iris, it would not Iris, be enjoyable for you guys to watch at all. Trust me on that one. Okay, is that the side that's a little better? I think it is. Can we even... Okay, for a second I thought he spotted us. Okay, this side's arguably better. Not by much, though. Oop, bingo. We got him, though. Okay, he's moving. Gonna take a quick break after this section. I'll probably just break up the recording session. I don't really want to do it in four hours. Oh, four hour chunk again. Gotcha! Right, let's grab that chest, shall we? It's nothing actually important, it's just a medicine, but I wanted it, so too bad. Alright, let's get that rank. Well, let's get this, the item, the rank, and then we'll pop down that way to have a peek in a sec. Okay, those should be the last guards for us to worry about. Right. Sorry about that. Where are you supposed to be? Yeah, so all the vendors from now on are just, just this. You care, trust me. Ah, nice to be here. Yeah, it didn't stop the recording. Let's just keep this going. Might get it done faster this time. Really cool place. Oh no, these objects in the background are low res when you zoom in. Who'd have thought? Hmm. So, one of the reasons, um, oh, what's it? Hmm, what's this? A busted security drone. It looks like it was working fine up until a little while ago. Maybe it saw something interesting. Let's check it out. 
hear those guards saying one of them had gone missing? This drone's paired with his ID. They must have been assigned to the same route. But I don't see any guard anywhere around here. A broken drone, a missing guard. Something doesn't feel right. We've got to do something. Hack into the drone with your legion, and let's see what it saw before it wound up like this. This drone's the key to finding that missing guard. I can feel it. Hack into it with your legion. So that's where the guard notices something might be amiss. Mm-hmm. Then they see something. Wonder what that could be. A gate. With redshift levels as high as his one, our guard probably saw the Camaro and decided to follow it. But it looks like it found him before he found it then dragged him through the gate. We've got to try to save him. Let's go in. Before we do that, let's just see real quick. Options. So, we pick this up. Iris, start up. Iris, shut down. Clearly meant to be Acura. I remember so, there's one some people said sounds a, well, there was there's one RS people reckon sounds kind of like 2B, but yeah, not right now at least. Oh great, it's not what I wanted. Time to cancel that animation again. So this right here is one of the reasons this chapter is also really cool. Because it signifies the point of the game where you have majority of your moveset. Because right now we have four out of the five legions. The only one the only one we're missing is Axe. And Axe is kind of broken, so I don't particularly care we're missing it right now. Because Axe is really bloody good. Excuse me, mate. Worth it. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Kind of would have liked to rip out his core, but... Slam. Gotta be close, right? There we go. Yeah, yeah, raw, raw, raw. Just like King Cerberus, huh? One of the things I've got to do later on is I will get Speed Star on our Arrow Friend, which will be very, very useful. Hit Rush and Speed Star are the goals for later on. Ah, I should have gone for it, but that looked pretty cool. Okay, just you guys. There's no, uh, there's no Shield Chimera right now. So I've been meaning to go into this in more depth since file 2 but um yeah way back when this game was in development there was that whole thing where you know i wanted to tank for hit but i don't have armor um way back when this game was in development they were gonna go with a bunch of um different legions we we're gonna get like one for each core type so we're gonna have the human up we're gonna have the five we get access to right we're gonna have sword arrow um beast and axe right and we're gonna have the gel, the, she uh, the shell types, the, um, the wing types. There's gonna be a bit of everything. The Goliaths as well. I think that's all of them. Yeah, because Axe is just an extension of the humanoids. There's at least one I'm forgetting, because there's 11 con There's eleven in the uh, concept art, in the art book I've got, from the collector's edition. Always kind of weird they uh, never do reruns of that kind of stuff, but it makes sense. Probably not a lot of people who are super desperate to get an Astral Chain art book this late, but still, 
free money, but it's probably not worth the cost, I guess. Okay. We've got some fun times here. Get get to a pup. Let's go arrow. Shoot you down. If you try to shoot it too early, it doesn't count. But yeah, this isn't quite to the level of my videos. But we just constantly... Well, I'm just constantly switching. And this is kind of how I played in my main on my main file anyway. Okay, it's the bloody you. Again. This is kind of how I was playing it at that point. I, di I discovered on earlier... I had discovered back when we had the... When I got the Arm Legion that Hit Rush was really good. And then I discovered the whole thing of Wait. I can just constantly have something Hit Rushing while I use my other Legion. So obviously this is like a more high level version of what I was doing back then. But it was this moment of, holy shit. This, there's a lot of fucking variety here. And yeah, even up, even after coming off playing more Rising, I really don't mind the limited um, character move set because all the stuff you do with the Legion makes up for it big time. Come on, something, run into it. Oh, that counted, Nick. Because like, well, I'll demonstrate it properly in a sec. There we go. I kind of want to try to get this rank on this fight. S plus. Oh, that doesn't count, huh? Oh, for a second I thought I was dodging out the way, but I guess not. Now let's go for it. Let's see how we went. Alright, Camara's down. Let's check on our victim. We have to get him first, don't we? I do wish there was, like, an animation where you'd come out of, like, mid-dive and jump on the Beast Legion, but, you know, we, alive, we don't really need that. Redshift levels are getting really high. Let's get him back to Earth. There's one more good deed for the day. I doubt he'll let us go just for saving his life, though. We should split before he wakes up. I sent out a distress signal from his position. His uh, buddies will be here soon enough. Let's get out of here before then. There we go. S plus. Hell yeah. We did pretty well. Because yeah, that's the... Unless you backtrack um, to another file, that's the first real fight you get. It's good three-phase fight, different varieties of enemies. And at the very least... You have to use Arrow and Beast for the encounter. But why wouldn't you use the other two anyway? So what I was going to briefly say is, like I demonstrated last chapter, I don't mind that we've got the one attack button. It's fine. Because we've got the one combo there. But this also turns into that for this. Because we've basically got five modifiers for every string we have, right? So, in the context of, say, Rising, where Raiden has a lot, there are a lot of fucking sick moves you can pull off with Raiden. And here, like, you've got extensions based on Sword Boy, that you don't have with other legions, for example. Like, yeah, no continuation for Arm. I really don't mind the trade-off, because this, to me, well, it just clicks with me, I guess, is the best way to put it. Like I said last time, yeah, for whatever reason, V really clicked with me, Astral Chain really clicked with me. Um, still had a lot of fun playing Dante, though. He was fucking great. Yeah, so I'm kind of skipping over his dialogue, but who cares at this point. Nero was no, no, um, by no means bad, but I definitely, I don't know what it was. I guess it's going to be put down to, I didn't find Nero as fun to play as the others. Even though, like, I know he, he's not bad or anything, he's got a really cool moveset. He's got a really cool gimmick with the Exceed meter and all that, but... I, uh, I'm not super into using the Exceed. I do my best, but I always feel super lackluster at actually using it. We did S plus this last time, so I was hoping we can do it again. But yeah, I don't know. Just in comparison, Dante's got so much to play around with, Nero's got one weapon. And he's got a lot for that one weapon, 
and a lot of cool stuff you can perform using it and you know like different variations depending on your exceed game but yeah Dante is just way more fun to play in my opinion even in the game where he's not the main character um the V was just really fun and I don't even play him super optimally gotcha but yeah V is just a bloody blast even though it, I've just spent like 30 seconds going on, oh, man, Dante's so cool in DMC5. <laughs> Nero's still cool. V's great. And like I've said a billion times before, and I'm going to say a billion times after, it was like a good, it was good practice to, you know, lead into this by the end of the year. Now that was back when I figured, oh, this will be a Damon X Machina channel. Funny how that panned out. Really ironic how that turned out. I just burned myself out on the demo more than anything. Oh, my bad. That's the thing, I just, I was hoping the, uh, the demo would have that thing where it would carry through to the main save file if you bought the game. Okay, that worked last time. Didn't work this time, though. But, yeah, I played, like, uh, what, it said 10 hours. Probably wasn't entirely 10 hours. Some was also captured and put into the video. Fuck. Now you can do this in two ways. I prefer using the armor, um, the armor legion armor, but you can do like a stinger with the dog to jump on it, but normally how I do it is like this, but it's a bit slow. It's annoying I didn't get it second try like last time. It's annoying I didn't get it first try like I should have in all honesty. Okay, here we go. This is super finicky this time. Hmm. I'm not going to go into it too much, but I guess now's a good time to bring it up. So obviously, there we go. Obviously, you compare the start of Astral Chain to Bayo 2, Bayo, well, Bayo 1 or 2, um, or any other Platinum game. Wonderful 101 is also a really good comparison. So in Bayo, um, in Bayonetta, you're a fucking Umbran witch and you're destroying angels on a falling clock tower and then you're fighting angels in two on a jet with, uh, with Jem, I believe is how you pronounce her name. Now I've been rising, I should go back to Bayo, I think. Oh, wrong one. There's an easy way to do this, but I figured out you could do this. This is a cool trick I'll, I'd like to be using later, but I won't be able to get to the area to actually have any use. Um, and Wonderful 101... You're Wonder Red saving all the school kids on a crashing train. And then, how do you start in this game? You're a cop who can't even beat the most basic of chimeras. And then you get the, um, you get your legion, and it fucking beasts as you stand there going, what the hell? And then eventually, like, what? You have a cool moment where it's like, oh yeah, Enceladus, down. Oh shit, we didn't beat it, Max had to save us. So it's kind of like the inverse of the whole Platinum thing. You don't get your Rules of Nature moment um, that you kind of expect. It. You don't get the whole ride and take you on a Metal Gear Ray as the tutorial boss. It's the complete inverse of it. And I actually really appreciate it. Assuming we get a second um, Astral Chain or a spiritual successor, it'll make a lot more sense if we started off in that position. Um, given where we end this game in. But, given it's the first one in hopefully a franchise, if Nintendo would be willing at least, um, you know, I think we can go a little harder than something like Enceladus on turn one. Oh, this ladder just looped around at the back. I'm not going to bother going to it. There's no, worth sh there's no actual worth showing it off. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, an item fell down there. Huh, that must have been from the, uh, from the dump, yeah, the dump master. That's kind of weird, I didn't know. I didn't know it could be like the gutter in Dark Souls 2, where you kill a hollow and it drops its item through the cracks. That's always fun. I know that's oddly specific, but that's the only other instance I can think of. But, um, you can have your big cool guy moment before we get samus or, um, something like that. We lose all the power-ups. You know, um, the Legionis tripped, and we lost all our legions all of a sudden. Yeah, you meant to go this way, but... Fuck it. 
Can't get over the barbed wire. You can go there, but you gotta be a little careful because it's really easy to miss or fall in the gap that's a little further in. Wait, no, that'd be going backwards. Let's go this way. Also, it's great because we've got Beast Legion, so we can actually, you know, have some bloody mobility again. Alright, we finally made it. There should be plenty of people inside the camp. I bet we can find out exactly what we need to know. That's the camp entrance over there. Let's go in and ask around. Did I just see an item on that roof before the camera cut away? Yeah, there is. The drone mission's still there though, that's super weird. Huh. Made me freak out and think we killed the drone somehow. Yeah, we killed a robot. Yeah, totally. Hey dude, what's up? I'm so glad you found me, I fell from the watchtower. Got anything to help patch me up? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I really owe you one. Here, let me repay you with this. We... We are gonna get a lot of those this chapter. You're not from around here, huh? Keep and watch out, side sec. Five, as long as I have, you learn to tell when someone's not from this side of the wall. If you came all the way here, you probably want to, you know, see more of it, huh? Well... You seem trustworthy, so I'll fill you in. There's a back way. I'll send it to your little device here. Word of advice, though. The law's not quite so potent down here. Watch out for them hermits. I mean, that's not what he said, but that's the implication. So we can jump along there. Whoa. How you doing? Man, ravens are cool, aren't they? Um. The crows as well. You, you can jump along there. There's some rave matter we'll get. This is the back way just here he was talking about. But there's a few bits and pieces we want to get, such as... Well, dog doesn't want to drop, so we'll drop here. Grab the chest, and while doing this, we'll cancel out. Got the medicine mini. Sweet. Virus, shut down. Now, there's nothing else down here, because we shot the thing. Now, last time I did this, I think I managed to get all the cosmetics um, you can get here all the gear, and I'm hoping I don't miss out on, on any, but I'm probably going to. Not that it matters, but let's have a quick combo with these guys. Thanks for the medicine. Okay, can't get through without the hermit say sir. How you doing, mate? We got the gates all hermit's orders this, hermit's orders that. Screw the hermits, let me in. I gotta get back in. If I don't, my clothes will be ruined. The hell are you looking at? Mind your own business. Now you're pissing me off. Oh damn it, I perfect called him last time. Oh well, good enough, I guess. What'd I ever do to you? You swung first, fucker. Uh-huh. Just get the roof. Man, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's the second way in. But one other thing we gotta do is this. Come on, you can reach. Or not. Don't worry, I didn't forget about this chest. I remember. Let's just check we got... Yep, we got all of the red matter. So we'll jump over here. Go hit. Grab all the room out of there. Get this chest, which is a heal or Oh, beast, what is it, boy? Don't suppose it happened to be that? Yep, it's that. Oh, no. Well done, me. Now, if anything, I am definitely going to be missing... Um... Well, first of all, fuck this. I don't want you guys to have to suffer through that. It's kind of weird we respawn there of all places. Um, I'm definitely gonna miss the uh, dig spots you gotta find. Um, the ones that come up with the uh, dog sensors. 
the Beast Legion sensors. Definitely not going to get those. Just going to say it now. Because I'm not super aware of where they all are from memory, and I've never got all... I haven't found all of them on my main file anyway. So... Oh, wow, we got trolled, huh? Music change. Oh, that was weird. I don't want to have to come around, but I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah, it's these gaps right here. So you got to be careful about these gaps. It really is like the gutter from Dark Souls 2, actually. This right here, though. I managed to jump the wall, and I fell right through this spot here. I felt really cool for a second, and then really dumb. Oh, I was about to feel really dumb again. Sup, lonely woman. Mm-hmm. Don't draw attention to yourself. The hermits might pick up what's going on. They're not that scary, but just be careful. Haven't seen you around before, stranger. Buzz off, I don't want to make friends. You're asking me weird stuff's going on? Weird stuff happens on the daily here. I'm going to make you purified due to all this latent corruption around. Number one junk district, huh? Oh, you don't say. Hmm. Grown-ups wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. I come here to the junk district every day. Isn't it great? I'm kind of occupied right now. Trying to find something good in all this garbage. Without good materials, you can't make good weapons. I keep telling them that, but do they listen? No. By, by them, I mean the hermits, of course. They help look out for everyone in this town. The hermits look out? Oh yeah, sure. Making sure we don't turn into those things. It takes a lot to stop redshift in a place like this. Can we talk to you? I forget. No, of course not. Kinda of busy right now. Can you uh, bother someone else? Okay, fine. Strange. We've been getting a lot of more outsiders of lately between you and that thin man. That's unusual enough on its own, but considering the gates are closed, that counts as full on weird. Hey you, shopkeep. Step right up, find find a selection liquid going around, huh? I think we might have all the turns we need, actually. No, okay, we need one more. Look at his wares. Now he's got medicine, nades, and what else? Okay, no. I'm thinking of someone else. Let's see what we've got so far. Maybe the cat food was randomized, because I'm pretty sure I had some by now. And we've almost got enough to, uh, enough to upgrade the, uh, expaton. Yeah, I suppose you could. Not that we can do that here. Nobody gets through without the hermit say so. They've got a lot going on right now to hand out passes. I, oh, my bad. I'm going to try to use the assault commands a little more, though. They're more situational, but they're really cool attacks, so I should make the effort. Hey, tipsy woman. It tastes like power. Hermitonic, this one's all mine. Of course, I didn't pay full price. The drug came through here. Let me use this hermit card. Lucky. Lucky does it. I'm so thirsty. But have you seen the prices? I'm never buying from it again. No, I'm Vendor's hero. Want to try a hermit tonic? Good for what ails ya. We're offering a special low price. Better grab it before it's gone. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, mm. Go back soon and bring money next time. Yeah, I'm I'm paying that. Where are you supposed to be? Yeah, a customer. <laughs> Window shopping figures. Mm-hmm. Looking for that thin man. What do you got? Anything strange? Weird bottle liquid. 
Hermes? Gaspar. He should be up on the rooftop. He's kind of forgetful, though. Okay. What's the term we're missing? Trying to find some medicine, but no luck. Funky vial. Big storm on the way. Well, it was meant to be more crappy weather coming our way. It was nice and sunny when I started this. Looking a little overcast outside the shutters, though. This is weird. I was pretty sure we had it by this point. There we go. It's because I didn't talk to you. Use a drug is what we were missing. Iris, shut down. Drugs? What drugs? They, the game never told us okay, anything about I think that. That's all the info we need. Let's straighten out what we know. So who is it that runs things around here? Well, that would be B. Right. They showed up in the files Jenna gave us too. They've got to be connected. So what are the hermits trying to do? Huh. Seems that way. So far, it sounds like they're the good guys, but... What are the hermits doing to stop corruption from spreading? Well, isn't that weird? We learned about the hermits properly. We've learned about a drug that can stop redshift. Isn't that weird? Right. And those hmm. same drugs might be the ones described in Jenna's files. So what do we know about this drug? What does it look like? Isn't it weird how, um, Kyle, uh, uh yeah, Kyle. Hal's referring to files. That gave backstory. Sure is weird. I don't recall the game explaining anything. Right. And if you drink it, it should save you from redshift. Somehow. So how are the drugs getting in the hermit's hands to begin with? Yeah, this is pure catharsis, to be honest. No one on the channel's actually said stuff like that. I've actually seen... Uh, sorry, I'm kind of extending this. It's nice to have seen people go like, Yeah, Jenna's not that bad. Kind of odd with the motivation, but it makes sense. Could be written better, but besides the point. Right. People say they've seen him meeting with the hermits. I bet he's bringing the drugs in. Everything in Jenna's files points us towards the Hermits. And I'm a little concerned about that outsider, too. The Hermits. We've come too far not to meet with them. We'd better find a way to get into their base. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. You said stealth ops were your specialty.